Hello, I'm creating a two part video that will show you, walk you step by step through how to create a product backlog for any product. I'm going to be using ChatGPT to generate the user stories. Then I'm going to move these to Mural so that I can story map. Uh, once, I've once I've understood the user story mapping, I will then move it to Jira so that it's ready in the product backlog for the developers to carry out the work. So stick around, it will be really good, interesting fun. Okay, so as I said before, we're gonna be creating a, a product backlog. And for this, I'm gonna be using um, ChatGBT. Um, so I'm gonna act as the product owner and Scrum Master in this one. Ideally, you would do this with your product owner if you're a Scrum Master and vice versa if you're a product owner, you would do this with your Scrum Master and the development team who are going to be carrying out the work. So um, let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to be going into chat GPT. I'm going to create a new chat. And for this, I'm going to be asking it um, as a experienced so I'm basically telling it to act as an experienced product owner and Scrum Master. Scrum Master, maybe not. <laughs> you create a... So obviously the, the, the starting points are um, you tell it, you ask it from a perspective. So you're asking it to act as a product owner. You also then want to query what it is that you want to get user stories for. So for example, if you're if you're creating an iOS phone app and you want to create a payment gateway for it. So you would say, could you create a, um, could you create user stories? for delivering a payment gateway using okay so here here's where you start thinking about slicing um so uh, vertical horizontal slicing uh, I've got another video to cover this but basically you start thinking about okay payment gateway is um, a very big epic um, you but you, what you can do is you can slice it into smaller chunks such as um, you know Google pay um, Apple pay uh, um, visa payments and so on and so forth so for this one I'm going to be saying um, using visa payment okay let's just see what what it comes up with here okay wow so, so there you go as a customer i want to securely add my visa card detail um as a customer i want to the the payments gateway to display accept uh, accepted visa card times you can see on my um on my screen here that i've already got like five really good user stories with acceptance criteria now these are good enough for me to take to as, as a starting point so as i was saying these are really good starting points for me to take on and and start working on these but i just want to also show you um that for example for this the first user story i'm gonna say copy that put it in the bottom here and say Ooh. so i'll ask it can you please break the following user story into tasks there we go i'll just correct that and say go so here we go now what i'm what i'm doing is i'm taking the first user story and i'm breaking it down even further um you can think about this in a way that if, if you take it up a level you can say that that user story that i've broken down was actually an epic and then 
the, the, the following tasks within it are user stories. And then, uh, and then you can take these seven tasks. Um, so for example, what have we got here? We've got um, implement secure form for card entry, validate for card details, integration with security measures, user feedback and error, and error handling, testing and quality assurance, documentation and compliance check, user acceptance testing. So these are all small, smaller user stories. So now that I've basically asked it to break that down into smaller chunks, which I'm going to add as user stories, I could ask it to rewrite those tasks as user stories. So I'm, I'm going to do exactly that. Um, could you please have to be polite? Rewrite those tasks as user stories, adding acceptance criteria. Check my spelling. <clears throat> Certainly, it's, it's just great. It's just so easy. Now, this never use this as a replacement for you know planning with your development team or your product owner if you're a Scrum master, vice versa. It's really important to do that. But if you you know if you're say for example if you're working abroad or your team is a, is located abroad and they're not very used to writing things from a user story perspective, they're not familiar with agile ways of working, and there's like, you know, a deadline, or or you just want to get them started so that they get into some sort of rhythm, this is a really good way to do so. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, we've got all sorts of lovely stuff here. Um, scenario, it, it's, written, it's written it as a scenario rather than user stories. So, if you want to, you can add as a I want so that. Um, so scenario one, access the form. Given a customer access the payment gateway, when they navigate to the payment section, then the secure form for entering Visa card details is promptly displayed. So as when then, um, I, I think that's called TDD. Uh, to, so um, or is it BDD? Um, yeah, one of those two. <laughs> so it's it's written in a way uh, that's really handy for the development team to pick that up and start writing it. Notice how at the start I asked it as a product owner and scrum master. So it gave it it gave me the answers in the form of what needs to be done. Um, uh, that is the what. Uh, and then the how is what the development team, design team, QAs would get into in terms of how we're going to be delivering that work. So there's a slight difference there. So this time I said, could you please rewrite those tasks as user stories, adding acceptance criteria. It didn't tell me the what, it just told me the how. Um, so given a customer access payment gateway, given the secure form is displayed when the customer interacts with it, then the form includes fields for card number, expiration date, CVV, and submit button. Um, and then scenario three, secure measures given the customer submits their card details, then the data is transmitted, then the form operates over HTTPS to ensure secure data. So it's telling you how you're gonna be doing it rather than what it is that you're gonna be doing, which is great. Uh, okay, so the next thing, um, to, so to take this to the level, th th this is basically us figuring out what you know user stories we can work with. The next bit of this video is going to be about taking this information onto a um, onto um, mural uh, so that we can do the planning, uh, and that's where user story mapping comes in. Ideally, you would do this with your team so that you can look at sort of dependencies and things like that. That's where this is really powerful. Okay, so please make sure you hit the subscribe button. 
come round uh, for the second video. Please come back for the second video. I'll be posting that very shortly. Um, make sure you follow that up and I hope this has been useful.